Now, if you read the book of Mark, chapter 3 and verse 27, Jesus reveals something. He said, no man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he will first of all what? Do, do what? Bind the strong man. And then what? Do you agree that the princes, the powers, the throne, they are strong men? Do you agree with me? I want to teach you something. You that is lazy when it comes to prayer, I want to bring deliverance to you. These are strong men. And Jesus acknowledged them that they are what? Strong men. He said, if a strong man keep his goose, how can he be spoiled? Except a, a he that is what? Stronger than. Imagine you are here traveling, desiring something. And then, in the realm of peace and tranquility, harmony, they thought they have given it to you. But while it was coming, contention rose against it. Chaos rose against it and hijacked it and stole it from you. How do you assess it? If a strong man keep his goose, how can he be spoiled? He said, I will be down in earth as it is in heaven. This was the story or the case of Daniel in Daniel chapter 10, verse 13. Daniel set his heart to begin to probe into the secrets and the mystery behind the captivity of his people. And from the first day, he decided to chasten himself before the Lord. His answer was released. But it never landed. Because what? The answer was hijacked in the plane called chaos and contention. If he had given up that God has forsaken me and he's not answering my prayers, he would have been lost. And chaos and contention would have kept them in, the, in their pocket. And they will remain perpetually lost. Perpetually in prison. But he engaged in mystery. In mystery called consistency. And why he had knocked that door. In the realm of peace and tranquility. They noticed that some bodies from the other realm. Is trying to assess their realm. And causing trouble. And the mother got to know. Say, ah, I thought I have said to this young man. They have to release another batch of messengers. And when they were coming, they now discover that the answer was stolen by chaos and contention. And the prince of war have to be deployed. When he was deployed, that was when that answer. I want to believe that messenger is not a, a, a low-ranking angel. It could probably be Gabriel because he's, that was why I was mentioning their name from the beginning. Because he's the angel in charge of knowledge. He was saddled with the responsibility of bringing Daniel up to speed with the things that are happening to his people. But as mighty as he was before God, because it was not his jurisdiction, the prince of Pesha captured him and locked him up. And there was nothing he could do. And heaven was not even aware that their, 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 their messenger had been captured. A man had to trouble heaven from here. He troubled heaven from here. Until they took note. Oh, he never landed. And the prince of warfare came. And when he arrived, he opened the gate. He started the contention with the prince of Persia. And then this one was caused to fly swiftly. Imagine you are here. <laughs> I hope as I'm talking, you are not just listening to me. You are imagining yourself. The prayers you have been praying for years. And you are wondering where did they go? 
Is God deaf? Is God wicked? Why is this thing not happening? Why is it not coming to me? I came to tell you that probably that blessing that you are looking for, that you are trusting the Lord for was released many years ago, but he landed in the hand of chaos. And if a strong man keeps his goose, how can he be spoiled? If in a hilo way, if in a horse or so in it, I got a low way. Obey, I tell me, you guys, I you need. 